I'm going to show you how to use the new web fonts feature in Dreamweaver CS6 and pretty much what that means. Well, if you have a site set up and you have a page open, what you can do is you can utilize or use a font that you have and use it on your web page. Now, this comes with some restrictions and I'll talk about those as we go. But if you take a look, I'm going to click on live. I've got a font here that I've got on my desktop that I'm just using on a web page and we can get it done using, if I look under modify here, what's called web fonts. If I click on web fonts, you'll see the dialog box, the web fonts manager. What we can do is we can find available web fonts that we have and then use them throughout our sites. Now this requires that we add fonts that have a EULA or end user license agreement that allows you to do this. It's using what's called the at font face in a style sheet to get this to work. So essentially we're taking a font and we're uploading it to our host and we're using it on our web pages. So the people that make these fonts that take the time to make them require that it's part of the agreement. If you click on add font, you can see that you can give it a name and you're not just going to send one font, like a true type font or an open type font. You actually have to send four different font styles or four different font types to be able to get this to work on different browsers and platforms and things like that. So suppose you've got your favorite font like, um, I don't know, Giddy Up, okay? And you want to use that on your web page. Well, where do you get these fonts from? Okay, well, there's a bunch of ways to do this. So let me go out to a browser. And what I'm going to do is go to what's called Font Squirrel. And yes, if I was organized, I would have done this and had this open, but I don't. So go to FontSquirrel.com. And Font Squirrel is a great website. It's one of a bunch of them out here that will give you commercial use free fonts that you can use for your websites. It'll let you download them. Some of them you have to pay for. It'll let you create these different fonts that you need to use in Dreamweaver. So if I click at font face generator, it's going to allow me to pick a font from my hard drive as long as it meets requirements. And then it'll say, all right, well, let's generate those four different fonts and it'll let you download them and use them in Dreamweaver or your web page in any way you want. Font Squirrel is kind of going by the honor system here saying, yes, they're legally eligible for web embedding. So it's a good faith service, it says here. If you don't want to go through that process and you just want to kind of try some, you can go to at font face kits right here. And if I scroll down, you're going to see these are hundreds of fonts that you can use on your websites. And right here, you're going to see each font face kit comes with, and it gets all these different um, different font styles or font uh, formats, I guess you can say, true type. And it tells you which browser uses which, like EOT is for IE. Okay. Here they all are. Scroll down. And let's suppose I want to use this one. Well, you can view the font if you want to. It kind of gives you the entire listing here. You can download just the true type version, let's say, just the one version, or you can get the entire kit. That's what we want. So I'll click at font face kit. It's going to let you pick which font format you want, and then you can download. Once you download, you go find it. Let me go find where mine is. And you can see there it is right there. It gives you basically a license that you want to take a look at. It gives you a demo page that you don't really need, and it gives you a style sheet that you don't really need. This is for the demo page. These four font files right here are what we need. Now, the really cool thing, what's, what Dreamweaver is going to do is it's going to copy these and put them to, into a site that you have. So let me go back to Dreamweaver now that I have my fonts. And you know what? By the way, I should mention this. If you download some of the fonts on Font Squirrel, you may see more than four in here. You may see eight or 12 or multiples of because it may have bold or italic versions of each. So just watch for that. We're looking for the straight up web font. Let me go back over to Dreamweaver and we're going to add a web font now. I'm not going to add a, a font name right now. We're just going to go find the font. So I'll click on the folder for EOT. There it is right there. You can see in your folder. I'll just open it up and it automatically finds the rest that are in that folder. That's the idea. You got to say that you've properly licensed them. They're ready to go. You can click on what's this. It'll open up a browser here and talk to you about font licensing information and, you know, all sorts of stuff kind of scare you a bit. Once you're done, you click OK. There you go. Now you can add as many as you want. You don't have to use them within, let's say, a specific site. You can use them in other sites. I'll click Done. Now to use it, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a start site. This is a really simple site that has a simple page in it. Let me open up that page. And what I've got is I've got a P style. Matter of fact, if I show you the code here, let me split it. 
it, this is an internal style, which we normally wouldn't do, but just for the sake of argument, I did this. P with a font family, Arial, Arial Helvetica. I want to change that to use the new font we just chose. So I'll go back to my design. I'll go over to my style. You can do this in the code if you want to, but I'll go over to my style, double click, come to the font family, come to the menu, and you'll see Comic X right there. Now I'll click OK. And what it's going to do is this. It's going to go in and, of course, change the style. Let me go to the code. It's going to change the style and say, oh, the font family is that. But it's also going to take a style sheet that imports the web font itself and has the actual font face attribute in it. So if I go to style sheet and take a look right up here, this is what it creates. So it's putting the font family, it's putting the source for all these out here, an IE fix, et cetera. And in your site, it actually copies, creates a web fonts folder and copies this Comacax folder and puts all the fonts in there with the style sheet inside. So every time you want to use one, it's going to put that style sheet or attach that style sheet to a page. I'm going to go back to source code, click on design. I'll click live and you'll see it happen. Now, if you want to, you probably want to actually put fallbacks on this font, which means if it, it quite, can't quite work, this Comicax or whatever you call it, it can't work, you want to try Helvetica, Arial, et cetera. So you can either do it over here or do it down here or in the code. I'll just put in like, let's say Arial and Helvetica. There we go. So if I go to the code and take a look, you'll see you could have typed it right here too, or in your style sheet, if it's in your style sheet. And there it is, that's using the web font. So once again, later on, you go to another page and their site, you wanna to go to web fonts, you can utilize these web fonts as long as it can find where the fonts live, that's the key. As long as Dreamweaver can find them, it's gonna copy them into your site. So on your hard drive, you might wanna create, let's say a fonts foundry folder or something like that to keep them all in. But there it is, using web fonts in Dreamweaver CS6.